The net effect of the prey making techniques discussed here, if carried out well by the decoy, will be to bring the defense dog more into prey mood. The dog will retain his capacity for strong defensive behavior but also gain the ability to switch it off and make prey, enjoying himself at moments when he is not hard pressed. This will make the bite calmer, steadier, and more full, reduce growling during the bite, and give the dog a reason to pursue because he is chasing a rabbit rather than running to close with a deadly, fearful foe. In addition, prey behavior will give the dog a valve to blow off the stress produced by his defensive attitude and basic sense of endangerment. Defensive aggression is stressing, loading, and winding for the dog. Prey behavior is de-stressing, unloading, unwinding. Consequently, the ability to channel to prey will lend the dog longer life and endurance in training by giving us a way to unwind him when he needs it. The goal of these techniques is not to soothe the defense dog into a pussycat. The goal is to give the dog a calming, pleasurable outlet for his violent, stressful urges so that he can be maintained in training without beginning to show cracks due to chronic stress and hyperstimulation. In short, what prey does for the defense dog is to make bite work fun for him. If he was a formidable animal before, totally ready to bite a man in a civil situation, he will still be so after learning to make prey. The only difference is that he will bite this man harder with a bigger mouth and with more confidence.